you there. Welcome to my forest 66 million years ago. I'm Leptoceratops. Leptoceratops. My name means skinny, horned face. It's good practice for when I get older, when I have to bonk heads with other dinos. We stand, look at the other guy, and bonk heads! Like this. Whoa! <laughs> good one. You see, lucky for me, I belong to a very special group of dinosaurs. We have these hard heads. It's like built-in safety gear. I have my own helmet. Oh, and see, we also have a beak, like a parrot. And we like to eat plants. I can walk on two legs or four legs. I'm powerfully built. Grrr. I'm about the same size as a horse, but much more powerful. Here, let me show you. Watch out! I think I better keep practicing, but somewhere else. Bye. Welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 67 million years ago, in what is now known as North America. Ah, we're all waiting for the eggs to hatch. Hi! I'm True Dawn. True Dawn. It means tooth that wounds. That's because of the very sharp teeth that I have. We're also the smartest dinosaurs around. Hey, Mr. True Dawn. My friend and I have a problem. We had five seeds, I ate two, and now there's only one left. How many did my friend eat? Your friend ate two. I knew it. Hey, Percy, I told you, you owe me two seeds. <laughs> See? Super smart. I'm pretty much half the size of a human being. But since I'm a theropod like a T-Rex, I'm at the top of the food chain. Mr. Trudon, my friends and I only have this one cicade, but both want it. What do we do? Awesome. You're the coolest. Sharp teeth and very sharp toe claws. Oh, they're going to hatch. Well, it looks like we're going to have a big birthday party tonight. But tomorrow, they have to start learning math if they're going to be smart like me. One, two, three! Corythosaurus. That's core, rith, saurus. Do you know what that means? Helmet lizard. It's because of this thing on my head. My herd and I use them to make amazing sounds. Listen. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly what it's supposed to sound like. It must be all the dust from the volcanoes over there. What a sound! That's awesome! How come I can't make a big sound? Why can't I do it? Did you hear that? It's my herd calling. I'm gonna answer them if it's the last thing I do. What am I doing wrong? want to play with me. Hey guys, what do you say we play a game of... Whoa! Did you hear that? 
Did you? Oh, joy! I wonder if they heard it. Oops. Sorry to wake you. I was just so excited that I finally made the same sound as you guys. I'll be quiet. That's what I call fresh air on the open range. My name is Ineosaurus. That's i ne o -saurus. It means buffalo lizard. Did you know that I'm from what is now known as Montana? Only here, nowhere else in the world. You know, there's more to the late Cretaceous period than trees and stinky flowers. I'm a ceratopsid. That means I'm a herbivore. I eat plants. And I have a beak. And we have these big curved horns on our noses. Looks like a big bottle opener, doesn't it? Too bad there's no such thing as bottles in the late Cretaceous period. And I live in a big herd, which is great if there are any big dinos around that might be a threat. Just one of us might not be enough to scare off a big gobbler dino, even though we're six meters long and weigh two tons. But put us all together, and there is safety in numbers. And hey, if that doesn't work, there's always the old stampede! right by. I'm Eustreptospondylus. That's pronounced Eustreptospondylus. But you can call me Esther. This is my island here in the middle Jurassic period nearly 160 million years ago. Pretty nice, huh? Eustreptospondylus means well-curved vertebrae, which are those bones in your back. As you can see, we are great dancers. Theropods like us are naturals. A theropod means two-legged dino, by the way. This makes us great at doing things on two legs, like running and dancing. And you can tell how much I love to dance. We're pretty long, about the size of a city bus. And we're four meters high at the hips. That's like how high you can jump up on a trampoline. Like most theropods, we have big teeth to eat with and two small arms, which makes it hard to clap, but perfect for playing the maracas. You know what time it is? That's right, limbo time! The limbo king! Only one thing to do now. Give the trophy to the best dancer around. And then, what else? Dance! Yes, there you go. Well, hello. I'm Mutaborosaurus. Yeah, see it with me. Muta 
Buddha Saurus, and welcome to the early Cretaceous period. Yes, I'm named after Motobura, the place where they found my fossil in what is now known as Australia. As you can see, I'm the top of my game when it comes to eating these cicade trees. But how's your honking? Bruce. He can honk louder than any Mutaburosaurus around. Mm, yes, yeah, you see, we have these little honkers up here on our heads that we make our calls from. I challenge you to a honk off. A honk off, eh? Hmm, yeah, you're on. I'm a pretty big dino. I'm nine meters long. And I'm a herbivore. Not bad, but try this one. Good, that was a real good one. We seem to have called the whole herd over. Well, since we're all here, why don't we have a honk along? Great idea. See you next time. Massospondylus. You say it like this. Massospondylus. I'm trying to think of what I can do for the Dino Talent Show. It helps to have hands that let me grab things or I'd never be able to do this. <laughs> my name means massive vertebra. Those are the bones in my neck. Here, take a look. Now that's a lot of neck. I live in what is now called South Africa. I'm about the same size as an elephant, but I weigh a lot less because my bones are hollow and I have air sacs that make me lighter. That's how I can be so light on my feet. I know. I could tap dance in for the talent show. Hmm, maybe not dancing. Oh, I know. I love to sing. Listen. La 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 la. Well, what do you think of my singing? I guess I need to practice more. I wish there was something else I could do for the Dino Talent Show. Something I was good at. Oh well, I'm sure it'll come to me. See you at the Talent Show! to keep scaring off the insects. Sorry, Sorry that, that was, was my, my bad. bad. Hiya, I'm Saltopus. That's pronounced Saltopus. It means hopping foot. I'm Vera. I'm Betty. We're very early theropods. That's meat eaters that walk on their two back legs. Now, girls, now! Okay. This isn't funny. Uh... Oh. Welcome to the early Triassic period. 223 million years ago. We're from what is now called Scotland. But not much is known about us other than... We're dinos! Well, actually, they don't know for sure. So, if nobody knows what we really look like then you might have purple polka dots and a yellow head. <laughs> or she might have horns and two tails. 
<laughs> well, I think we're supposed to look a little like other dinos. We are about the same size as a cat, but with lots and lots of really sharp teeth. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like what I look like right now. They're mine! See ya! I'm on the hunt. Or am I being hunted? I'm Nick Webasaurus. That's Nick Webasaurus. The first dino ever to have a tongue click in his name. <laughs> Hurry, we must keep going. I'm being followed. I may not be big, but I'll have you know I am the great uncle to the powerful and famous T-Rex. In 50 million years, T-Rex will be crowned king of the dinosaurs, and he'll have me to thank. Dinos like me have been found in what is now known as Africa. Though I'm not as large as a T-Rex, I'm still all carnivore. <laughs> I eat insects and small lizards. My hands help me a lot because though I have only three fingers, one is like a thumb, making grabbing much easier. And these claws, razor sharp. They help me climb when there are no branches. My talents are hiding and sneaking around. I am super duper at being quiet and well, invisible really, but sometimes, <laughs> We're also very, very jumpy. Hey! <laughs> Those guys make me laugh. That's Nothrone I Cuss. And welcome to our late Cretaceous TV show. No, your dinosaurs! Joining me today are my best buddies, Custard and Ronnie. Hi! Hi. We're talking about what makes us really different from other dinos. Custard, any thoughts? Um, we're on TV? Uh, good try, but no. Even though we're theropods, we don't eat meat. You see, most theropods are carnivores. Great, now I'm hungry. Oh, oh, I've got one. We have very fine feathers covering our whole bodies. Mm-hmm. What else is different about us from most dinos? We have these long claws for snipping leaves and branches. And our teeth aren't sharp, but they're perfect for mashing up plants. And we drool when we chew with our mouths open. I'm not drooling. Let's not forget that we need to eat a lot, because we're really big. As big as this giraffe fella here. All right, all right, thanks for coming on the show. We live in what is now called New Mexico. And that's our show! Join us next time in the late Cretaceous period as we discuss asteroids, real or are they a myth? So, who wants to get something to eat? Welcome to the late Jurassic period 150 million years ago. I'm Othnelia. You say that Oth, Ni, Li, Ya. <laughs> and 
I'm in the best game of tag I've ever played. Hey, hey, he's right behind us. Nah, he'll never tag us. We're way too fast. I mean, look at me. I'm built for speed. My stiff tail gives me balance to make super sharp turns. You can't tag me. Come here, you little herbivore. I'm not playing. I need to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, right. Why are you chasing me if you're not playing? He's right about me being a herbivore. That's a plant eater. But I'm not that little. I'm about the same size as a big dog. But with my tail, I'm much, much longer. <laughs> Sorry, Al. You'll have to be quicker than that to tag me. I have lots of room to run around here in what's now known as Wyoming, USA. Come back here. I uh, uh, just need to tell you something. Hey! Why'd you stop? Okay, fine. What did you want to tell me? Well, it's very serious. It's very, very serious. Tag, you're it. I can't believe I fell for that. Ready or not, here I come. You say it. Pteranodon, and it means winged and toothless. That's right. In my beak, I have no teeth. Do you want to know a secret? Hey, Pteranodon, I'm going to the picnic now. Oh, the dino picnic. Really? Do you think I can come? Yeah, sure. Every dino can. Remember that secret I want to tell you? Well... The secret is that I'm not a... So okay. Let's go. I'm from what is now Kansas, in the USA. But that's not the secret. Secret? I love secrets. I have hollow bones to make me light, and I have a huge wingspan. About 10 meters wide. That's as wide as a hand glider. That's not a secret, Pteranodon. Okay, fine. Do you want to know my secret? Well, here it is. I'm not a dinosaur. <coughs> That's right. I'm not a dino at all. I'm a flying reptile. I'm related to the dinosaurs, but not actually one myself. I guess I can't come to the dinosaur picnic now. By the way, dinosaur means great lizard. As far as I'm concerned, it also means friend. Yippee! <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. You're the best. My best friend and I are going on a picnic. See you later. Mashiachosaurus. You say it like this, ma she a ka And my name means vicious lizard. Whoa! The late Cretaceous period, about 68 million years ago, was a total blast. Yahoo! Ah! I'm a theropod, like the T-Rex, so I eat meat. But check these out. Okay. I look like I need to go to the dentist. But seriously, these teeth were made for fishing. Hey, why can't we all just get along? Because Mashiachosaurus needs to eat. So the fish. Yikes. Fish food, I mean. Mashiachosaurus are from what's now called Madagascar. Yum, 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 yum. And stay out! <sighs> Thrown out of a lake by a fish. How embarrassing. Don't they know I'm a theropod? Like a T-Rex? 
Whoa there, Rex. Will it help to know that he's not much bigger than a dog? I wasn't talking to you, T-Rex! But fish isn't the only thing I eat. Jackpot! Mmm, time for lunch. See you guys later. Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex. But like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! Shh. <laughs> uh, nothing like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. <laughs> everyone, I'm a woolly mammoth. You can call me Wooly. My name says it all. I'm big, I'm fuzzy, and I'm lost. I mean, really, how can I find my herd if everything's covered in snow? Welcome to the Ice Age. 100,000 years ago, I guess. Eep. Hey, what's the big deal? <laughs> My long shaggy hair and my thick layer of underwool keeps me dry and warm. So throwing snowballs won't do anything! Plus, I have special skin which oils up the hair to make me even warmer. Eef! Aha! I have an idea. Mmm. <laughs> I use my super long tusk to shovel the snow to uncover this yummy grass. How will I ever be able to eat it all by myself? Ha ha ha. I'm a little bigger than the biggest elephant, but my ears are much smaller than an elephant's. I come from the cold northern part of the world, where scientists have found entire woolly mammoths, hair and everything, frozen in the ice. People usually get mixed up and think I'm a dinosaur, but I'm really an Ice Age animal. Yeep! Okay, wise guy! <laughs> he got me all right, but at least he knows where the herd is. I thought you knew where they were. Jurassic period, a hundred and fifty million years ago. I'm so dead. Say it like this, so dead. I'm a 
pterosaur. That's a flying reptile. But I don't know how to fly it. <laughs> if I'm ever gonna catch those bugs, I have to learn soon. See, I'm not a very big pterosaur, but I have a half a meter wingspan. Check it out. <laughs> like other Tessos do. Oh, that's a long way now. I should really stop flying so I can warm up. Even with thick furry feathers covering me, I'm getting cold. I'm from what is now Kazakhstan, and it sure can get cold here. I know I can do it. I know I can do it. I know I can fly. to say, Min, me, and welcome to the early Cretaceous period, 150 million years ago. These, these are my friends, Larry and Moe. We're very special dinosaurs, called Ankylosaurs. Ankylosaurs are dinosaurs that eat plants and have armored plates on our backs. And today, we're gonna have a race. Hey. What are you trying to pull? Oh, come on, with all that body armor on your back, I didn't even feel a thing. Ta-da! Now, are we gonna race or not? Sorry, all of this racing is making me hungry. What are you talking about? We haven't even raced yet. <laughs> Minmies aren't very big. We're about the size of a full-grown lion. Could have raced Australian back by now. That's where our fossils were found. It was now known as Australia, a place called Minmi's Crossing. Get ready, get set, and. Uh. Eh, I don't feel like racing anymore. You? We're not very fast, anyways. Let's just go for a slow walk then. Besides, we all know who would have won. Yeah, yeah me. me. 